One of the most surprising gigs that I did in my 30s was a gig that I thought I was too old to get because I had the great privilege, I guess you could call it a graduate grant, to go to the University of Betty Carter. Mm -hmm. Because Betty Carter College was for the young. And after you got too old, she got rid of you, you got her some younger ones. But I had the, the great honor and privilege of playing with her, which started with a sub, by being a sub for a week, New Year's Eve at Yoshi's. I ended up playing with her for about nine months before her passing. I'm very proud of that. Well, Betty had an amazing way of challenging us to play both fast and quiet. Mm. So we're going to play some little rhythm changes, and I'm not going to let Desron hear the tempo until right before it's time to play it. One, two, one, two, three, four. Most drummers, when they hear the tempo, not just drummers either, when they hear a tempo like that being counted off, the first thing they do is hold their breath. They go, one, two, one. <gasps> and they play for as long as they can hold their breath. And then right before they pass out, they go like this. <sighs> <laughs> Because they have, you know, they may hold their beat and hold their, because they may hold their breath and grab hold of the beat, but they're so afraid to let go. But just the opposite is true. This is a tempo that I can play all day, very relaxed. This is all the mechanics, muscle-wise, that I need to play this tempo. Let's talk about this a little bit. We're talking about throwing the stick at the cymbal as if it were a dart or a throwing knife. It creates its own rebound. The stick comes up on its own. The stick coming up pushes the fingers out using this muscle, which is actually the fulcrum muscle. The fulcrum muscle and the fulcrum are in two different places in the hand. The fulcrum is the balance point. The fulcrum muscle is the muscle that drives the stick at the balance point, right? So using your fulcrum muscle with your fingers to assist, you pick up, you let the stick bounce, Right? And at the end of the second rebound, you just close your hand. So, 